Hi guys and welcome to a new episode. Today we'll shed some more light, whiter light to be exact. We'll test some light bulbs that pretend to have a xenon effect and see if the extra money spent on some of the best bulbs available on the market will make any difference. These products were very requested in the comment section from the previous episode, therefore we'll take a closer look at them, starting with a short overview of each one after which we'll test the light output and color temperature and finishing up with an endurance test to see which one lasts longer. This time we'll also test the same bulbs on a more common reflector type headlight. Let's get started! The expectations for these products are to provide whiter light, similar to what HID lamps offer, with a cooler color temperature and at the same time provide good light output for optimal driving. I have chosen three of the best products available in this category and one extra bulb for comparison. The first is Philips and the product that we'll test is called White Vision. These bulbs claim to have 60% more light output and sharp white light that is up to 4200 Kelvin color temperature. The design features a light blue tip for blocking light and a gradient tinted glass that is more pronounced around the filament. As I mentioned in the previous episode where we tested the brightest road legal bulbs from Philips and Osram, the 60% brightest increase is compared to the minimal legal standard. This means that the user will probably not see such a big difference if they are using standard halogen bulbs. The second product is from Osram, the Cool Blue Intense. Osram also produces the Cool Blue Boost, which has the same design but is rated at the higher wattage, ranging from 75 watts to 100 watts, depending on the bulb type. These are not road legal and I'll test them in a future episode. The Cool Blue Intense that we'll test today claims to have a modern xenon look with a color temperature up to 4200 just as the Philips product and up to 20% more light output which is less than what Philips claims. The design features a silver tip and a uniform blue tint on the glass. And the third product is from Bosch, which is called Xenon Blue. This bulb claims to have a maximum color temperature of 3700 and not much else. The design is more similar to those Osram bulb, with a uniform blue tint on the glass, but has a black tip instead. Basically, all bulbs that we'll compare today use the same method to achieve whiter light, by using blue tinted glass in order to filter out the yellow light produced by the filament. If we look very closely at each filament, we can see that both Philips and Bosch have a 16 coil filament, while the Osram is slightly bigger with 18 coils. I'm not sure how relevant all of this is, that's why now it's time for testing, and we'll start with the light output test and color assessment. As in the previous episode, we'll use a projector type headlight, but this time we'll also perform the same test with the reflector type. The headlight was positioned 3 meters from the projected surface and the light output will be measured using a dedicated instrument. This value is measured in lux, as it best describes the light intensity in a specific area. For this test, all lights were off, except the headlight, and the camera was set to manual, therefore we have no automatic compensation for the color and brightness. The color temperature was measured using an app on my phone, and I tested this app using several different light sources, and I've noticed that it's not calibrated correctly. But for this test, it will provide a useful value that we can compare against each product. First, let's start with the standard bulb, made by Osram and using the projector headlight in order to have a control measurement. This has no blue tint and is rated at 55 watts, just like the other products tested today. On the left of the screen, you can see the color temperature meter measuring the light on the projected surface, and because this app doesn't show the maximum value, I had to average it at the end. The maximum reading is 585 lux, and the average color temperature is 4161 Kelvin. I'm pretty sure that this bulb has a lower color temperature than this, but as I said before, it is useful for comparing the result. Next is the product from Philips. This has 664 lux and the average color temperature is 4331 Kelvin, so we can see a better result compared to the standard bulb. Now moving on with the Osram bulb. The maximum reading is 622 lux and 4342 Kelvin. 
The light output is smaller than the Philips, but the color temperature is higher, meaning that the light is whiter. Finally, the product from Bosch. This has 662 lux and 4306 Kelvin. The light output is just slightly smaller than the Philips, placing it in between the Osram and Philips. The color temperature is the lowest from the three, but still whiter than the standard bulb. Looking at the side-by-side -side view, it is clear that the blue glass offers a whiter light compared to the standard and also a brightness increase. Now, a lot of you mentioned that the effects of these bulbs are more noticeable on reflector type headlights. That's why I bought a new headlight for this test and the differences really are visible. I also noticed that cars equipped with projector headlights do not offer the same lighting performance as cars with reflector type headlights but each one has advantages and disadvantages. As before, the headlight was set 3 meters from the projected surface and we'll start with the standard bulb. The maximum reading is 2514 lux and the color temperature is 4215 Kelvin. This light output is more than 4 times higher than the projected headlight and also color temperature is 54 Kelvin higher. That's a very big difference, but we need to consider some aspects first. The reflector headlight is new and the projector headlight was used. Most of us that are interested in bulb replacements will use them with used headlights. In any case, I'm sure that even a used reflector headlight will provide better results than its projector companion, probably not 4 or 5 times higher, but still, even double is more than enough. Now let's see the rest of the bulb, starting with Philips. The maximum reading is 3050 lux and the color temperature is 4378 Kelvin. Again, a very big difference from the previous test. Next is Osram. The maximum reading is 3476 lux and the color is 4453 Kelvin. This is the best result so far. And the last is Bosch. The maximum reading is 3187 lux and the color temperature is 4402 Kelvin, placing it second place after the Osram bulb. I've also prepared the side-by-side -side view of the projected pattern for the headlights and the results are the same but clearer. The image is overexposed with these settings because I haven't changed them in order to see the difference in the headlight design. And this is another side-by-side -side view of the reflector headlight showing the differences between each product. It looks like the Philips bulb did not perform well in this episode, coming in last place. Maybe it will do better in the next test, the endurance test. One of the biggest problems with these high light output bulbs is that they fail more frequently compared to the standard bulbs. This is normal due to the use of thinner filaments that can provide more light. The main cause for bulb failure is physical shocks, therefore I have built a machine that simulates road damages which can cause this shock. It has a spinning disc and it pushes on a lever which has the bulbs attached to it and the bulbs are powered by a 12 volt power supply. As in the previous episode, the machine was set to drop the bulbs 3 times a second, but I decided to test each bulb individually as the last time I had some issues with the power supply. Now let's see the time lapse on my left. At the top we have the Philips bulb, Osram is in the middle and Bosch is at the bottom. After 1 hour, 27 minutes and 34 seconds, the Philips bulb failed. This equals to approximately 15,762 drops. 
The next to go is the Osram Bulb, which failed after 1 hour, 35 minutes and 21 seconds. This equals to approximately 7163 drops. And now, the last one is Bosch. So, after 2 hours, 47 minutes and 18 seconds, the bulb from Bosch also failed. This equals to approximately 30,114 drops. Now, let's take a look at the data collected from this test. Depending on what type of headlight we use and on our expectations from these products, we can see that for the projector type headlight, Philips offers slightly better light output, followed very closely by Bosch. But if we need whiter light, Osram provides the coolest color temperature. If we use a reflector type headlight, then Osram offers better light output and whiter light, followed by Bosch and Philips sitting in the last place. If you are tired of changing your bulbs every month, then maybe Bosch would offer a better deal. Even if it didn't have the top score for the light output and color, it had the best results in the endurance test. However, Osram offers a balanced solution with very good light output and color temperature, but the endurance is on the low side in my opinion. And finally Philips, which is hard to recommend in this case, although in the previous episode it had a very good result, this time the product tested didn't perform so well. So that's about it from me, I hope you will find this information useful when you are choosing your bulb replacement. In the next episode we'll test some windscreen wipers, so make sure you're subscribed. You can also join me on social media when I post updates for future tests and if you wish to support me you can do so by becoming a Patreon, following the link in the description. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!